Hi, my name is David Aidosi, and in this video I want to show how it's possible to set up a full postpaid former workflow inside of Maya 2016 by using May 9. You need to have the last version of May 9. In this case, I'm running up the 1.3.2 because I have had for this version and for August 1 two script a B sim mesh by Super Crumbly that uh, uh, let you symmetrize a pose uh, uh, pro character and by Ingo Clements uh, two incredible tools uh, weight driver 1.8 for driving the black the corrective blend shape and exact deltas for uh, create the corrective blend shape uh, all right after that uh, after installing the main line I already do uh, we can uh, run up uh, Maya 2016. What exactly is uh, uh, the correcting blend shape workflow or the pose, uh, sp uh, sorry for space pose deformer workflow? Is the ability to uh, correct a pose of, of a character um, for uh, make a good uh, good deformation. This is a particularly useful for the shoulders or for the face, but can be used in any kind of situation. Uh, so start with, one, start with a simple, very simple example. I can create a sphere. I press uh, my Z and my left mouse button and select creating a sphere. I want to put the sphere in the zero position, like so. And uh, uh, from the side view, I want to create uh, another time Z and left mouse button, uh, some joints. Create a simple joints. First of all, you need to have a skinned object. This is because uh, mm, the exact deltas works by compare the uh, sorry the uh, uh, the skinned mesh the skinned mesh to the uh, to, a, to a overall object to a non-skinned mesh. In this way, it can extract the the correct brain shape. Without the skin, is not possible to do. I press my select my my joints. I select my sphere. I press Z. This let me uh, enable my my fast start key, my contextual key for skinning. And now I can put in pose my my object. I rotate as you can see uh, my object to 16 minus 16. Now, as you can see, I have uh, a basic deformation, but I probably I want to enhance and make some enhancement. How I can work? I press Z and the right mouse button to contextual marquee menu and uh, run up the duplicate skin script. Uh, I can now put this inside, um, inside, inside, uh, inside pose. Now I can simply start to, um, for example, sculpting the surfaces for apply the, the, the deformation to my to my object. Uh, remember, I have another another script that let me symmetrize the the deformation. So it's very simple to do. Um, now I can press Z, right mouse button, brushes, sculpt geometry. Uh, from by using B, I can. Uh, press B and use my left mouse button, I can uh, change my diameter and uh, when I press M and uh, up and down, slide there, the, the left mouse button up and down, I can change the, the, the force, the, the pressure of, of the sculpt. Uh, as you can see now, I can sculpting a little bit. If I press Shift, I can smooth the, the deformation. Is if I press Control, I can use Inversal deformation. Shift, okay, great, and now I can uh, increase the, the deformation, and now I can, all right, make something like that. I mean, it's not so, not so cool, but but it can do, okay, it, it can be um, a start, a start, a start a decent job. All right, great. Now I need to symmetrize this. How I can do that? I duplicate again my sphere. My skin and uh, sorry, my skin and mesh, of course, and uh, run up uh, another script under the former. I use uh, symmetry mesh, uh, AB symmetry mesh. Uh, how I do that? Select an object, Z. I press and and date and, and let press uh, Z and use the right mouse button under the formers. All right, great. 
this is the base geometry, the, the geometry without any kind of uh, deformation. This is my deformed geometry, and now I want to mirror selected. As you can see, I have now a good mirror, uh, good mirror uh, selection to the to the, to the two side of my of my sphere. It's not so perfect. Now I want to take this vertex and use B with soft selection tools for enhance a little bit my my pose and it's almost ready all oh, right great something like that it's, it's not it's, it's really it's really abstract uh, result but it can, can be can be useful you know, can, can, can do the do the trick now i can connect this mesh to this one mesh but i need to extract the delta what is the delta delta is the same deformation but in in t pose in, in standard pose in bind pose um what is bind pose bind pose is the pose uh, the position of the vertex when i uh, create the the binding the, the skin so now I can uh, set my two meshes, press Z, Z, right mouse button, reformers, and now I can use extract deltas. Oh, sorry. One and two. First the skinned one, after the reformer, extract deltas. This shape, this fourth shape, is my delta. Is the same deformation you can see here, but apply to the to the bind pose. Now I can return in now I need to return in bind pose. Press four and give zero to rotate Z. And now I can finally apply this as blend shape to this object. I select the deformers one, the the object. And now I can use my Z, the right mouse button again, and now I can deform her and create blend shape. Good. By pressing Alt and 6 on my keyboard, as you can see, I load up the blend shape layout. Now in this area, I have all my blend shape. This is corrective blend shape. And uh, now I need to drive it. So how I can drive my blend shape? Press Z again, but this time I use the left mouse button and I lo load up the set driven key. So driven key let me to find a, a driven and uh, uh, moving uh, the, the the blend shape as as uh, driven object so before that i need the the red the, the pose reader um, i can run up very fast by using my uh, z button and the left mouse button and the rigging i can select add weight driver this uh, let me add a rigging weight driver as you can see i have this base weight this base weight is the 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 the, 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 the group uh, that uh, that uh, control the, uh, the 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 read pose and now i can uh, implementing this uh, this group with the 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 most uh, in the, the most lower lower uh, joint and select the two ones of course and now i can uh, using a new as a script I have from version 1.23.2 is a control P. When I use control P, as you can see, I can imprinting and resetting the the rotation and the uh, and the translation of the of the containers of the base weight. Uh, this lets you align directly. Uh, in this case, the, the the rigging of the of the post reader directly on the joints. All right, great. Now I can select my. Um, sorry, I want to hide this stuff. Very good. And now I want to take this and let have a little more, a little more high. In this way, I can set up a, a weight. Uh, but what is this weight? This weight is a distance from the, 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 the central vector of, of a cone. Uh, I'll show you in the next example. So at this point, I can take this object, uh, make in parenting with the main object. In this case, I use only P. And now, if I rotate this value, I can I change the distance, of course, between the two, the two locator. As you can see here, I have a distance tool and the, mm, the, the calculation of the pose based on this uh, pose cone uh, I have in this position. 
um, as you can see now, when uh, when my joint is rotate uh, minus 16, I have uh, a pose uh, at 0, C, 0 0.64 and so on. Uh, but if this is at 0, oh sorry, not this one, but this one. But if this one is a zero, as you can see, my pose is is a, is a really really different, and um, and I can use this value to drive the deformation. Very good. Now, so driving key Alt three, oh, sorry Alt six for have my plane shape. Now I can uh, take my base weight. I can open it. I can take my uh, sorry, um, at this point is imprinting under the joint. So I take my locator, my drive weight, uh, driver weight locator, and uh, positioning inside of the of the of the of the joints. And now I can use this from as driver. And I can set my um, blend shape by select it as driven. Now I can take my weight and my blend shape corrective and set a key. After that, I can reselect my joint, put it in a position, and increase the blend shape and make a new key too. So now the weight drives the deformation of this object. As you can see now, my correct blend shape is correctly enabled on the on my on my object. Of course, I can use the the distance too. For example, if I want to simulate a, a muscle, I can create a, a, sorry, I can rapidly create a cube and modeling very fast. Great. I want to add some division in eight in width. Uh, all right, great, uh, and in depth, very good. And if I press three, I have my uh, my object, of course, one. And now I go in the top, uh, activate the middle uh, middle constraint, uh, middle, middle bottom constraint, and create a joint again. So, rigging joints, create, and I want to create a new set of joints. In this case. Uh, I now select my joints, uh, my cube, uh, and press C again. All right, great. Uh, now my object is uh, correctly skinned. If I, if I, of course, uh, try to bend it, uh, it's, it work as expected. Now I want to try to using the distance in this case to calculate the deformation. So I can create again my weight driver and select the base driver from here select a joint and the control p and now i can put this controller directly on the on the other joints of course as you can see now i have uh, uh, six centimeters of, of length of course um, now this i can parent with this one using only P without the control, so I can not reset my my um, my my positional uh, my pull positional value, and now I can use uh, um, the same trick I used before, so I can uh, rotate my my arm, and now I can uh, duplicate it by using Z right mouse button formers. Uh, Duplicate skin, put it here. Now I don't need to have any kind of, uh, and now simply want to try to modeling a mask All right, great. This is very, very perfect. Select the object skin head, select the corrective shape and extract the delta from the two, one, two, two, one. So see, right mouse button, the former extract deltas. Everything work as expected. This is my delta. I can test, I can try this directly. Select the two objects and now I can create a blend shape. 
Z, right mouse button, the formers, create main shape, very good, very fast. Now press Alt and 6 button, I can drive and see the deformation work as expected. Very good. Now I need to remember these numbers. Uh, I use a 4.8 and uh, reporting it is to here. Yeah. All right, great. So um, at this point I need the, the, the driving key again. So I go in my uh, work area uh, and uh, left mouse button on by pressing C and now I can run up the set driving key. All right, now the driven object is of course a blank shape, a selected blank shape, plus a driven, and the driver object is always the locator here, uh, the, the, the weight locator in this position, the weight driver here. I love that driver, very good. After that, I can uh, use my distance in this case, my corrective blank shape. Now I can set the key. And of course, when the number here is around uh, 4.8, something like that, I can increase my deformation and the key again. It's very fast, I think, uh, this way to, to create the driving key and, uh, sorry, um, key. Again, uh, I think this is very fast. I said driving key in this in this way. I can press five. I can press three on my keyboard, and I can now use the corrective blend shape as expected directly by the length of the of the mask of the of the deformation in this case. But uh, how works the, the pose based on the cone? It uses a cone angle. The problem in in this case is that. The weight drive is not visible without using the, the, the legacy viewport, the viewport 1.0. So I need to set up my weight. And of course, you can see here when, when the number is at 1, exactly at 1, it's a, there is a direct linear, ver, linear vector from this cone to uh, sorry, the, the post cone I can show you now and, uh, and the locator that uh, the drive the. the the pose. So I need to uh, go under rendering. Oh, I have opened my hotbox by press space and legacy default to legacy default viewport. As you can see now, uh, this is the cone that uh, that uh, that read the position of this uh, of this object. As you can see, is now the cone is uh, the, if I run a um, I can select this cone and uh, see the cone center. Yeah, all right, great. If you see this, this center, I put it a little more up, so it's better, it's uh, more simple to, to, to see. Um, there is a vector inside here that pointing uh, directly this, uh, this object. When uh, the, the driven object is exactly at the center of this cone, uh, the, the result is one. But uh, if I porting my, my, my object, uh, uh, out of the cone or uh, uh, far from the center of the cone, the, the number is decreasing, so I can use this number to driving gate. Um, I have uh, had a connection to from from this object to this locator. As you can see, the number of the weight is exactly the same in this uh, position. And um, I think it's very fast in this way to set up the the cone reader for uh, for the formation, uh, as you can see. You can see, okay, as you can see before. Of course, there is a other other um, possibility to, to to use it. For example, I can uh, have a more grow, more. Uh, if I can, I can grow grow up the the cone. In this case, I can put this to zero. As you can see now, it's perfect in alignment to the vector from the center of the cone. Um, and uh, I have a lot of other, um, there is a lot of other uh, option here. You can uh, load up in this, uh, in this up to, uh, in this setup to. All right, great. Um, I think for, for now is whole. I, I hope you like the video. I hope you find it useful and bye.